Welcome to today's video. This is Zangler, the Tesla Semi Advocate, bringing you the Tesla Semi High Volume Factory Construction video for September 6th, 2024. This video was shot around 4 p.m. on a Friday afternoon. And the title of today's video is BZI is in the house. BZI is a building stands is the acronym for building zone industries and it looks like tesla has partnered with them to use their state-of-the-art commercial building system uh, we were gonna if you remember the last video i saw some of their equipment and their jig and i did not linger or pause and focus in on it that will not be the case today i came here with a purpose to see um, and learn more about this technique. And it is innovative, and I will include the uh, link to um, the BZI website, which is very interesting. A young company, and it seems like a top performer. First thing we're gonna do is to do a um, perimeter flight around the um, project and um, to me it's it's very interesting and I am dying to figure out what the different size footings indicate specifically I'm trying to find lanes for bridge cranes I know that the semi construction will require the use of bridge cranes for the large pieces and based on the um, Pepsi delivery event where I saw the prototype factory line, bridge cranes are uh, an integral part of it. And uh, I am having trouble determining exactly where the uh, bridge cranes might be. Those heavy footings are certainly required for the bridge cranes. And, but I, there, I cannot, discern a pattern. So in the um, two days since my last flight, there were five of these panels installed in the uh, far northwest corner, which is this corner of the building where the flag is. The last video, it was flying um, in the, it was um, blowing in the breeze and it, it made a pretty iconic uh, image. But anyways, there's five of those installed. Now there's like 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, like 55, 60 of them installed. And if you stay tuned, you're going to see one of them being installed from ground level. As I rolled up on the project, before I could even get the drone in the air, I... Um, I saw the, the, um, what is called the Mesmaster. The BZI Mesmaster is the um, piece of machinery that installs the, um, the roofing structures after they've been built. And we're gonna see a lot of that in a little while. This is a, a lower level so you can see what's going on inside the building. The orange contraption is the BZI Mesmaster, and it's used for picking roof panels up off of the panel table jig where they're assembled, including lighter weight trusses, and bringing them over to the site and installing them in a very clever method that you'll see later.
the supports that we're looking at that support the columns during construction is also a BZI uh, innovation. They're, they call them sky braces, and they're used to um, provide structural integrity while the building is being built without a bunch of guys, guy, guy wires. You can see them, and they were one of the first things, as soon as a column goes up, one of those uh, sky braces are, are installed. Something interesting I noticed right there is that where that last column is, it's a wider section. So they won't just continue with um, the, the columns in, as an extension of that. It's almost like that initial unit will be a building unto itself, will be a completed unit. And then at that point, they'll start a new unit. Here is the panel table that BZI innovated. And um, apparently it's a, it's a safer, more efficient way of installing and building roof panels. And they're, the one side is almost completed, and the other side they're adding the trusses into the jig, and then they add the metal roof panels and bolt it all together. And, um, and then as they're, as they're moving one, they start the process over again so that they're constantly in the process of building one. They don't have to wait um, for one to be done. They can do, they can, it's a, a sequence um, of, uh, of them being built. And I find this to be fascinating to watch. So I'll let you guys watch. I feel really fortunate that my timing was such that I caught this and the uh, actual installation of the roof panel from the ground as I, as I drove up. But here's the Mesmaster um, in, in preparing to uh, lift this panel and we'll see him take the panel over to another station where it looks like they're putting heavier trusses on.
I'll leave you with a uh, look around at the uh, geography surrounding Giga Nevada. It's about 4,000 feet, high desert, and um, some uh, nice mountains. And probably if you look closely, you'd see some wild mustangs. There's even wild, um, there's been bighorn sheep reintroduced into the area that I've actually seen right next to the road driving into Tesla up, up Electric Avenue. I believe all that dust is not just the wind blowing, but some, some, some equipment disturbing the soil and then it being blown. There was actually some virga in the background and a few drops of rain did fall on me. But enjoy this, thanks for joining and I hope you're into the minutia of this uh, new way of building a factory, much different than the way Giga Texas was done. Thanks.